tukaona ya kwamba malori ya polisi na bulldozers wamekuja kuanza ku demolish na tukasikitika sana kwa sababu e, tuliujiuliza tuko kwa inji gani tuko wapi kama unaweza kuamka kwa kweli siku moja hivi uingie kwa boma ya mtu hama kwa nyumba ya Mungu kama hii na uanze kubomoa uanze kufanya uharibifu wa mali bila kujali My name is Anne. Tuko huku mbali sana nataka niko na wageni waji introduce then we continue with the show. Yes. Yes. Eh naitwa Theophilus Kidome. Na mwenzetu. Na mimi naitwa Shendrak uh, Musau. Na ni nini kilitendeka hapa? Tunaona kume mawe mawe kila mahali. Maybe you can explain to us what happened and uh, how we got here. Uh, ma mahali hapa tuko ni mahali pa naitwa county. Uh, county ni mahali ambapo tulikuwa tume tumenunua shamba na tumeishi hapa kuanzia mwaka wa 2011 ah uh, ndio mimi nilinunua na nikajenga 2012 na tumekuwa hapa uh, katika haya maeneo nikiwa mchungaji nilikuwa na kanisa nilikuwa na shule na nilikuwa na washirika. Mm. So uh, kile ambacho kilitustua sana ni tarehe tisa tulipo tulipokuwa tunatoka kazini. Mhm. Ah uh, tukashuli sikuwa endelea kama kawaida. Mm -hmm. Tukaona malori ya askari. Mm -hmm. Na tinga tinga. Mm -hmm. Na wakaanza kubomoaji. Mhm. Yes, so ni jambo ambalo litupata na mshtuko mkubwa. Mm. Ni kama ni kama accident. <laughs> ni kama accident. Bila accident inatendekanga. Mm. Eh hey, ikatutendekea ni ikatupata hapa. Na tuko hapa sasa tukiangalia mauharibifu wa mali. Mm. Yes. Na mwenzetu maybe unaweza tuelezea ulikuwa maybe na umejenga nini sehemu hii? What had you constructed and hapa yeah. hapa tulikuwa tumejenga hapa katika eneo hili aswa tuko hapa ndio tumekuwa na kanisa kwa miaka kama kumi na na tumekuwa hapa tukimwabudia Mungu na kwa kweli hiyo siku e, kuanzia hiyo tarehe tisa tulishangaa sana kuona hizo mabuldozers mekuja kubomoa hapa tulikuwa tumejenga kanisa e, kama vile wanavyoona jina Holy Vision Worship Church na hili ndiyo likuwa kanisa center ya makanisa yote injini Kenya na hakika tulikuwa tumeinvesti sana hapa kanisa kama tulikuwa tumemaliza sasa ujenzi kiangalia hii ni madhabao tulikuwa tumemaliza ujenzi wa kanisa hili ndani tulikuwa tunaanza ujenzi wa hinje kufanya finishing na tulikuwa tumeinvesti karibu not less than uh, 7 million uh, kuendelea uh, mbele tukiangalia ile hasara tumeingia hapa kwa kweli tumeingia hasara kubwa sana kama kanisa na pia kuna manyumba ukiangalia pale chini unaona mahali tulikuwa tumejenga maofisi ya ya kanisa hii shamba ni ya karibu heka moja na hakika tumenunua kupitia kwa njia inayofaa kabisa kwa sababu tumefanya search kwa mavoko county tukapata search tukaangalia tulikuwa na mapoto copy ya title na tukwa tunaonelea kitu kama hii inaweza kutendeka katika nchi hii yetu ya Kenya. Tumeshangaa sana kwa sababu ni kama sasa kulingana na mimi naona ya kwamba sheria hakuna mtu anasingatia kuifuatia sheria vile inavyofaa. Ndio. Na niulize walikuja tu wakabomoa ama kulikuwa na warnings what happened? Kumekushawahi kukuwa na warning ama wamkapewa eviction notice? Ukweli ukweli ni ukweli ni kwamba wakati ambao notice inatokea mm -hmm. kulingana na sheria kwa mujibu mm -hmm. wa sheria za nchi yetu maana Kenya iko chini ya sheria mm -hmm. kuna kitu kinaitwa gazeti notice mm -hmm. yenye kila mtu fa nini usoma yeah. so hakuna mahali ambapo ilikuwa na notice kupitia kwa vyombo vya habari kama gazeti notice yenye tungesoma tukue tuko tuko aware mm -hmm. namba 2 Kenya inji yetu uki, ukitaka kukuwa na property kuna ati miliki. Mm. 
ambayo inakupatia wewe mwanaiji kuwa na confidence mm. ya kutoa pesa zako mm. ili uinvest mm. so tulikuwa already tumefanya search at the house tumefanya search kwa Mr. of lands naisha mba yote ilikuwa ekari elfu ine na ilikuwa na mother title na mother title ilikuwa katika ile process sasa ya kwa kwaya kila mutu title D yake na niseme hivi ya kwamba sisi arutengene sangi title sisi arutengene sangi ukienda kwa visa serekali useme arawa kufanya search unatengemea yule ambao wameanjiru na serekali akupatie sasa go ahead unaona sasa so unabuenda kwa visa ya serekali na unaisha mbili likuwa 10424 unaenda pale kwa visa ya serekali unasema nifanyie hii search ulikuwa unangojea for about 7 working days unaenda on monday unaitua pale unapewa nini unapewa search. So ukishapewa hiyo search ni legit ya kwamba ya kwamba hiyo shamba ni clean. Maana kama kama maana maana ya search ni kuverify is, is is the number of this title in the search. Mm. Number two, the owner who is selling is mm. he the one who is appearing on that search. Mm. Ona sasa. Mm. So when you find all those names they they, they liga together, then you proceed. Yes. So exactly that was we did. Mm -hmm. Na mimi kama mchungaji wa kanisa la Mountain View Baptist Church. Mm. Ambo ilikuwa the largest church katika hii shamba mm -hmm. ilikuwa na membership ya 150 and above. Mm. Uh, unapojua adada Han. Yes. Ah uh, wewe ni mkristo. Mm. Na ili kanisa isimame kuna tumianga mode of collecting money through fundraising. Yes. Na fundraising na maanisha all church members of various economy in our life we realize somebody is uh, uh, a water seller another one is uh, a gro green grocer another one is an oka we have different levels of economy in churches so watu wanaanza kutoa pesa zao za mahindi mwingine muzaji wa kuku mwingine yes. anauza kitambaa na unapoona hiyo bidii yote ya miaka kumi ukiwa mchungaji na washirika wako inaangamia ni kilio mm. ni kilio kubwa ambacho kilitupata kama tungepewa notisi kulingana na mujibu wa sheria mm -hmm. maybe tungeenda kwa serikali mm. tuambie we have got this notice mm -hmm. and we think this notice is affecting us mm. you see yes. what we could have done i think we could have pleaded with the government if kusema ukweli we were on the wrong property mm tunge maana notice inaenda within 6 months hata 1 year mm. tungekuwa na sufficient time ya kuokoa our properties yes our properties mm. so uh, ni kitu ambacho hata kuelezea kinaibua isia kali kwa yetu maana mimi nikiwa nikiwa mchungaji nikiwa na familia yangu aswa and nikiwa na familia ya Mungu ambao ni kanisa mm. maana wote walikibilia kwangu Yes. Kwa kanisa yangu ni meifadhi wa shirika. Mm. Maana on 9th saa 9 tisa ndio manyiba zinaanza kumolewa an. Mm -hmm. Na kuna watu wanafanya kazi Nairobi. 9th of which month? 9th of uh, last month. Okay. That is uh, October. October to November 2023. 2023. Okay. Saa 9. Mhm. Mm ndio matinga siliingia na askari. Mhm. Mm Mimi kama spiritual father ilikuwa na washirika wako na wanafanya kazi Nairobi. Mm. Ilikuwa ndio pekee tunamwambia kumeanza kubomolewa. Mm -hmm. So by the time mtu aende Kenya Railway, apande mat. Mm. <laughs> e, afike. Akute nyumba aiko na ana mahali pa kulala. It was very devastating situation. Mm. Watu tulikuwa nakuta watoto wametoka shule wako nje wanalia. 
wanaona nyumba yao inaenda chi. Na hiyo unajua an nyumba zetu za kuanga za watoto. Na watoto wanajuanga hapa tuko na memories tulikuwa na birthday mm. <laughs> ya watoto you know we are by the invite all other friends. Yes. So when a community is being destroyed it becomes too much traumatizing. Mm. Unaona sasa? Yes. Maana nakumbuka watoto wakiniambia sasa pasta si umepikia daddy, umepigia mom, umepigia mm. at a house girl wanashindwa it was a very devastating situation mm. honestly. Mm. Yeah. So 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 when it comes to acquiring of, of property here yeah, we followed the legal process. Yenye mm. mtu anaweza uh, 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 ku kuwa na, 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 na faith na imani ya kwamba i'm doing the right thing and i'm, I'm investing mm. uh, uh, a home for my family i'm investing a place whereby my children can live can stay safe hata kama wasipopata kazi hata mm. kama wasipoanjiriwa lakini at least wakue na mahali kwa town mtu akitoka aenda afanye kibarua ya mjengo atarudi kwa kwa nyumba yake mm. mahali ambapo wazazi wao wanaishi na alipi rent. Yes. Yes. Mm. Mm. So ilikuwa kitu ambacho ile ime 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 ime, ime watu wengi. Na wacha niseme hivi ya kwamba human life is driven by vision and dreams. Yes. Si ndio? Yes. Na you realize that uh, when somebody has a dream, the bottom line is home and the family. Mm. Si ndio? Mm. Na we work so hard every early in the morning, during the day, mm. during the night to establish a home. Mm. So when you have gone to school, you have gone to university, you have acquired a small smoker job aside also the bottom line in mind is the vision of your home. Yes. Your home. So that which you have planned for 20 years for that years going it going to the grave and you are not aware uh, and you don't know where to run to and the government that issued you a legit document that is your safeguard in a kuwa rubbished sasa unauliza wewe ni mgeni wa nani wewe ni mgeni wa nani Wedi mgeni wana. Mm-hmm. So, uh, ukweli ya kwamba nilitupata mm-hmm. na ilituoma sana mm-hmm. na tuko ude sana. And I call this into notice. Let us come together mm-hmm. and repent and play, pray for mercy mm-hmm. so that God can be merciful on our nation. Because that six churches which were demolished in this place in this land are many mm. 36 churches 36 churches i am the vice chairman of the pastors clergy of this area i can take you to their churches to you this is an altar you know the good thing is that they are destroying the building they are leaving the altar there <laughs> <laughs> so, so this was a church. This was the outer. This was a church. This was an altar. Here there was a church. So I to Kenya. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for that contribution. Mm. Mr. Kilome, yeah. anything you can add about, you know, any notice, ama nini, ama muliwaisikia, there is an issue with the land, uh, Tuku pata notice yoyote, mm-hmm. kutoka kwa koti, kutoka popote pale. Mm-hmm. Sisi tuliamukia asubui, e, na nikifika mwendo wa saa nane, saa tisa, tukahona ya kwamba malori ya polisi na bulldozers wamekuja kuanza kudemolish na tukasikitika sana kwa sababu e, tuliujiuliza tuko kwa inji gani tuko wapi kama unaweza kuamka kwa kweli siku moja hivi e, uingie kwa boma ya mtu hama kwa nyumba ya Mungu kama hii na uanze kubomoa uanze kufanya uharibifu wa mali bila kujali 
hapa kwa hii kanisa tulikuwa tume accommodate karibu watu karibu watu hamsini lakini hii nyumba wakati ilipobomolewa kuna watu pia wamekaa hapa ukiangalia pale kuna moto ilikuwa na watu wanapikia pale ukiangalia pande ile nyingine familia zingine zilikuwa zinapikia pale kuna wengine walikuwa wanakaa kwa hizi miti unaweza kuonesha kote mahali watu walikuwa wanapikia chakula kwa hivyo watu walikaa hapa na ulikuwa ni wakati wa mutiani watoto wengine waliteseka kuna familia watoto walikuwa wana wana hawezi kuhama kwa sababu utahama namna gani shule iko hapa kwa, kwa, kwa hii ni shule hii iko hapa ukiangalia hii ni shule ilikuwa inaitwa Redoms watoto wanasomea hapo na uwezi kuhamisha mtoto mpeleke nyumbani kwa sababu ni wakati wa kuelekea kwa mtihani tunauliza ya kwamba e, kama vile mwenzangu amesema ni vizuri kuheshimu Mungu hata kama uheshimu mwanadamu. Ni vizuri kuheshimu Mungu na hii ilikuwa ni nyumba ya Mungu. Watu wamelia wakijenga kwa miaka karibu saba na hii kazi yao yote ama jasho lao lote limemwagika bure kwa sababu kungekuwa na notice tungeokoa mpaka hizi tiles, tungeokoa vitu mingi hata chuma. Chuma karibu ya milioni tatu imepotea katika hii nyumba hizi ma, ma blocks na kila kitu yote mpaka e, kila kitu hapa yote imepotea hakukuwa mm. na notice yoyote mm. na hakukuwa na habari yoyote tunahomba ya kwamba e, tafadhali katika nchi yetu ya Kenya tufate sheria na tuwe watu wa kumheshimu na niulize uh, uh, tumesema kuna 36 churches zilibomolewa mm -hmm. maybe how many homes do you think kwa hii area yote walibomoa and how long did it take uh, kubomolewa e, zile manyumba ambazo zimeanguka e, kanisa ni 36 churches na pia mashule karibu mashule tuseme karibu shule E, kumi e, kama karibu ishirini shule karibu ishirini maana tukihesabu shule moja kwa moja uh -huh. karibu shule ishirini zile ambazo ninaweza kujua kwamba hii shule ilikuwa mahali fulani shule ilikuwa mahali fulani familia zile zimepotesa manyumba yao hapa na zile zilikuwa zinakaa maeneo haya wale watu ambao naweza kujua kwamba hapa kulikuwa na boma karibu familia elfu kumi na kitu karibu elfu kumi na tano e, wamepotesa nyumba zao na hakika ni jambo la kusikitisha sana. Ni jambo la kusikitisha sana na jambo la kuumiza watu wengine wame wamepoteza maisha yao na watu wengi wameachwa na mahospitalini, watu wengine wagonjwa na mambo kama haya yametokea mambo mengi. So hayo ndiyo yaliyotokea kwa hiyo mwezi mmoja na kitu ambayo imepita katika maeneo haya pole sana na maybe tukimalizia unaweza kuwa na any word to the government ama the authorities na before that may asa after kubomolewa any steps mumefanya what what next what happened after kubomolewa mumejaribu mm. kuenda mahali sasa kama what has been happening sasa hatujafuatilia mm -hmm. kwa sababu number one tumeongopa uoga uoga mm. maana kama unaona askari na unaona tinga. Unaona maloli za polisi. Mm. Una kama kuna maloli nafuatilia ni kwenda kwa polisi. Yeah. <laughs> ndio mm. ama ibisho. Mm. Na polisi sasa ndio hawa. Sasa utaenda wapi? Na ujui ukienda ku ukienda kufuatilia. Mm -hmm. Utafuatilia sasa kwa nani because procedurally unaendanga kwa polisi. Mm -hmm. Ama kotini. Yeah. Na watu wanakubomolea na kuambia uko kwa shamba serikali toka unauliza aje au mm. kwambie chochote mm. so tuliongopa mm. sana tuliongopa sana mm. maana tulishindwa sasa tutaenda aje and the government ndio hii na tuishinana nayo so tukasarenda at the hands of the destroyer afanye na sisi mm. vile angependa namba 2 vile umeuliza hizo mm -hmm. wiki tatu tulikaa hapa mtu achunge redio yake mtu achunge dio nasikia basa kisha akiwaambia hapa ulikuwa na moto ukiangalia ile manjiko hapo mm. kuna nyingine kwa kanisa langu ilikuwa hivyo hivyo mm. tulikaa hapa tu mm. maana sasa utaenda wapi De, na una pesa tumekaa hapa 3 weeks mm. tukilia mm. tukilia tukilia mpaka leo na kama ninaweza nikasema ni ya kwamba na iko all over tulishangaa sana 
uh, zile humanitarian agencies kama Red Cross mm -hmm. walikuwa wapi yeah mm -hmm. ulikuwa sana kuona uh, our leaders wakiwa wanazuiliwa kuingia hapa mm -hmm. katika hii shamba so hiyo ni kitu moja ilirutia uoga sana mm -hmm. ana mm -hmm. ilikuwa na church members walikuwa wamejenga hapa okay walikuwa wamejenga na loan mungu akiwa amejenga na loan saa hii anashungulika kutazalipa loan yake. Mm. So hata kabini pasa wake kwenda kumwambia anisaidie mm. awezi. Mm. Amerudi tena kwa rent. Yeah. Una sasa? Mm. So tunahitaji mimi na rafiki yangu hapa msaada. Mm. Na wachungaji wengine ambao wako nyuma yetu. Wako nyuma yetu wanaumia sana. Bisho walikuwa na washirika mimi nilikuwa na washirika they are now homeless mm. watu wamevutwa kazi watu konside watu saidie nilikuwa na watu walikuwa wanafanya kazi hapa IPZ wale watu wa kiwango cha chini ule mtu alikuwa amerendi nyumba na kuliko aende aende kazini aliamuka asubuhi atoe kitanda mm. <laughs> aliamuka asubuhi atoe stove Yes, so after three weeks alienda kakuta kazi yake haiko. Mm. Saa hii ni kuna 28 church members wananililia. Mm. Inaweza waita wasimame hapa, wakae hapa, waone na macho. Mm. Maana kazi ilienda, man even don't report kwa muindi. Mm. <laughs> Ani. Mm, kazi imeenda. <laughs> kazi imeenda. <laughs> Ilibidi mimi na kanisa na wale katika hiyo tamo yoyote tuambie mtushika ingiri moja kimbia nyumbani. Mm. Na bishop yeah. uh, maybe unaweza tuelezea any kama wewe umefuatilia any in any avenue kujaribu kujua what next you know after the demolitions and your parting shot what you'd like what we wasaidia ma government ifanye as we wind up. Sisi tungeomba ya kwamba E, wale watu ambao wanaweza kunguzwa na Mungu na pia na hii maneno. E, hivi leo tunashuhudia hasara kubwa sana. Sisi tunaitisha e, msaada wa kila mtu yule ambaye mimi angeweza kunguzwa kwa sababu tuko na watu wengi sana wanaopitia hali ya shida na changamoto zaidi. Serikali pia e, tunaomba rais wetu ambaye tunamwombea kila wakati na kuombea serikali ya kwamba sisi tumepitia kipindi kizito zaidi kwa sababu kuanzia hiyo tarehe tisa e, mwezi wa kumi tumekuwa na kipindi kibaya sana kama wananchi wa hapa Machakos County kwa kutishiwa na polisi ya kwamba tokeni hapo wacheni hizo vitu kama mjawai toa wacheni na kupitia vitisho vingi sana hata wakati walipoangusha hili jengo na kila mtu sasa kutawanyika kwa sababu kanisa ndio mahali pa kukimbilia na hili kanisa liliharibiwa na kanisa makanisa yote yale yalikuwa maeneo haya yaliharibiwa tunaomba msaada pia wa serikali na pia rais apeane mwelekeo mzuri ya kwamba wa, e, pia polisi ni ndugu zetu na ni dada zetu na tunawaombea ya kwamba wanapo deal na wanahinji vizuri kuwachukua kama ndugu zao si kuwachukua kama wanyama kwa sababu sio kila mtu ataelewa polisi ni mtu mzuri wengine wanawachukulia vibaya sana kwa sababu wanaona ya kwamba ni kama maadui zetu wao wanapokuwa katika kazi zao na sisi tunawaombea kama wachungaji hapa katika kanisa tunafanyia ndoa wa mapolisi na wanajeshi watu wa kila haina ambao wanafanya kazi kwa serikali Tunaomba ya kwamba rahisi ajaribu kuwaelezea eh, polisi wasiwachukue wanahinji ni kama maadui wakati wanapokuwa katika kazi zao pia ni ndugu zao na ni dada zao. Kwa hivyo tunaomba kwa kweli msaada wa serikali wakati huu tunapitia janga mbaya sana la ubomoaji. Mm -hmm. Nilipotesa nyumba yangu ya kuishi, nyumba ya mamilioni, nilipotesa eh, kila kitu. Ile kitu tunaweza kusema ya kwamba tuliokoa vitu vichache hata hapa kanisani tuliokoa vitabu na ile vitu ambavyo zingeweza kuingia tu kwa personal mm. kwa sababu zile vitu zingine zilikuja kuharibiwa wakati hii jengo linaangushwa kwa hivyo tunaomba ya kwamba e, kama tunaweza kusaidika kwa njia yoyote 
tunaomba ya kwamba e, tusaidiwe na Mungu awabariki watu wake kwa sababu sisi hakuna lingine linaloweza kusema ila Mungu tu apate kutusaidia kwa njia ile atakayotusaidia kwa maana najua kwamba njia ya mwanadamu sio njia ya Mungu asante sana Okay, asanteni sana Bishop na Reverend. Thank you for your time and uh, you know, tutaendelea kufuatilia tuone imefika wapi. Yes, thank, thank you so much. much. Napole sana. Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante sana. Asante sana.